This is going to be fun. Morning. Can't hear anything. Uh, we're at Aintree Boats and today Silver Fox is going to be loaded onto a lorry. That's her behind her. And she's going to be loaded onto a lorry and taken over to Vic Staff. where we are. We're on Narrowboat Silver Fox. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. She's just got off the lorry from Aintree Boats and here she is at Bickerstaff. Uh, it's all bare. She's got battens and the flooring and the ballast. Uh, she's going to get spray foamed in a few days and then the fit out starts. <laughs> so excited. Yeah. <laughs> walk you through narrowboat silver fox where you are right now is where the galley is going to be we're at the stern of the boat 
sink and worktops down this side. I've got oak worktop going in and Belfast type sink on this side. Uh, we've got more worktops, I've got a washing machine going under there. I've got cupboards on each side there, all the electrical system, the inverter and everything going in cupboards behind there. Let's move forward past the bulkhead onto where the dinette is going to be. How do we know the dinette's going to be here? Side hatches. Side hatches. So we've got dinettes, Pullman dinettes in here. Come closer. Uh, side hatch number one. And side hatch number two. Moving further down uh, into the saloon area and we're going to have a very comfortable kind of reclining uh, seating area with some storage there. Uh, just underneath Gunnell's uh, 40 inch smart TV going in there. I've also got Apple TV uh, with things like Netflix on there for all the entertainment. Uh, we've got the stove going in the corner just here and then there'll be a centre door through here into the toilet. Come on, come on! Come on. Uh, this is going to be the bathroom, so we're going to have a uh, shower, corner shower uh, here, and a toilet and sink in this corner. Come on. Finally, into the bathroom, the bedroom, uh, where we've got some wardrobe space here, and right at the back in that corner, uh, we've got a double or king size bed which is going to be a pull-out bed that pulls out this way. Door here, which will go into the bathroom. Uh, this is our water tank, it's not been fitted yet. Uh, so this is, uh, I think, 350 litres, did you say? 350 litres. 350 litres of water tank. That's going to go right underneath. Come on. It's going to go right underneath there. And then this is where Sean's going to have to be careful without tripping over the water tank. Out to the bow, and we've got two bow lockers. Uh, one of them's already got filming equipment stored in it. Uh, we've got an extra locker in there. Coal and wood and bits and pieces going in there. No gas in there, because the gas is going to be at the back. We've got two gas lockers at the back, so that's where the gas is going to be, near the stern. So no gas at the front. And we got the bow thruster and all the bits and pieces to do with that going just in there. So at the moment, it's just all bare steel. If we turn back around and look the other way, and look the other way, you can see she's still got to be spray foamed on the lining to go on. Uh, the flooring and the ballast is in. Needs a bit of a hoover. <laughs> and there's a temporary light in there as well uh, for the guys that are going to be fitting it out. But here she is, you're never going to see her this naked again. <laughs> I mean where the engine is going to be eventually. Uh, this thing, I don't know if you can see this, we'll get a photo of this separately, is where the battery is going to sit. I'm also going to have six 165 amp power batteries uh, topped up by the solar panels that we're going to have on the roof. Uh, the VS 42 horsepower engine is going to sit in here too. Uh, it is going to look completely different. I don't know if you've seen any other of uh, Bickerstaff's boats, but the engine bays look absolutely brilliant. So this is going to be quite a transformation. It's been a long day. I'm knackered. <laughs> you too. Absolutely shattered. But here she is. And it seems, I mean, the last month just seems to have flown. It does, don't it? Uh, from seeing kind of the base plate and then when we showed you with the base plate and the sides to this moment it's just I can't believe how fast it's time's going. Our new home? Yeah our future home. So fit out starts more or less straight away and we're going to bring you updates on that every week. <laughs> it's going to be exciting I'm dead excited are you? I am. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you want to see the updates and ask us questions if you want to comment, if you want to give us your opinion on how it's going or you've got any questions about the fit out as it progresses. Yeah, we'll be happy to answer them, won't we? Yeah, just leave a comment underneath. Uh, but subscribe, click the notifications icon and we can let you know when new videos are released. It's all free. It is free. 
I will see you next time. See you later. Bye. Morning. <laughs> Start again. Morning. Morning. Behind us. I should sit again. Dragged out of the shed. <laughs> Put on a lorry and take it across to Vickerstaff. <laughs> oh, it's going to be stressful. We're sorry about. No, right, that's not good. So let's you walk. Scary. This is scary, isn't it? Guess where we are. Just a minute. There you go. What's up? Pulls wrinkles out. <laughs> it goes really bad lighting. Oh, really bad. Really bad lighting. But if we do that. Yay! Bright lights. Better. Needs a good mop. <laughs> Needs a good mop. And, yeah, uh, that's right. And I think our cup of tea's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>